Have you ever felt trapped in a digital contract? Like you're stuck with a service you no longer need or want? Well, today we're going to tackle a common digital dilemma. How to delete your UMA account. UMA is a popular VoIP voice over internet protocol service that offers affordable phone plans. While it's a great option for many, there might come a time when you need to move on. Maybe you're switching to a different provider, or perhaps you're simply ready to cut the cord on your landline. Whatever your reason, deleting your UMA account is a straightforward process. But there are a few things to keep in mind. Step-by-step -step guide. 1. Log into your UMA account. The first step is to access your UMA account. Go to the UMA website and enter your login credentials. 2. Access account settings. Once logged in, navigate to your account settings. This is usually located in the top right corner of the screen. 3. Find the Cancel Account option. Look for a section labeled Cancel Account or something similar. This might be under a tab like Subscription or Billing. 4. Confirm Cancellation. UMA will likely prompt you to confirm your decision to cancel. They might ask for a reason or offer you a retention deal. If you're determined to cancel, simply follow the prompts to proceed. 5. Review Cancellation Terms. Before you click the Cancel button, take a moment to review UMA's cancellation terms. Understand any fees, refund policies, or service interruptions that might occur. 6. Consider UMA's retention offers. If UMA offers you a retention deal, carefully evaluate it. Sometimes they might offer discounts or additional features to keep you as a customer. However, if these offers don't meet your needs, it's okay to decline. 7. Complete the cancellation process. Once you're satisfied with the terms and have considered any retention offers, proceed with the cancellation. Click the Cancel button and follow the final steps. 8. Verify cancellation. After canceling, UMA might send you a confirmation email. Keep this email as proof of your cancellation. Additional tips. Back up your data. If you've used UMA to store voicemail messages or call recordings, make sure to back up this data before canceling. Check for outstanding charges. Ensure that you don't have any outstanding charges on your account before canceling. If there are any, resolve them to avoid future billing issues. Contact UMA support if needed. If you encounter any difficulties during the cancellation process, don't hesitate to contact UMA's customer support. They can assist you in resolving any issues. Deleting your UMA account is a relatively simple process, but it's important to follow the steps carefully to ensure a smooth transition. By understanding the process and considering any retention offers, you can confidently terminate your UMA service without any hassle. Have you ever had trouble canceling a service? Share your experiences in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tech tips and tricks. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.